Hello YouTube, this is Matthew Williams just bringing you a little uh, video about Wikipedia, which I think is a load of shit really. I mean, it's it's about um, people uploading information which they can then use like an encyclopedia and it's supposed to be uh, comprehensive because people can edit and update the information. They can also delete the information as well which has up to now been a big problem in so much as um, Wikipedia has entries in it which have lots of information and then suddenly disappear because somebody doesn't like that information or doesn't want that information up there. So um, I've been given an email this week by uh, somebody who said oh I was looking for Michael Tassarian um, the conspiracy researcher and he tapped his name into Wikipedia and couldn't find any articles on him whatsoever um, he could only find references to uh, the fact that he had given lectures which were in other people's articles you know, which referenced him but uh, nothing about the guy himself and this isn't surprising because you know you basically have uh, a breed of person who's a complete um, fascist Nazi basically um, who believes that information uh, is something that they should control um, these are the kind of psychopaths who rule you know um, rule the history books and decide what can and can't be um, you know talked about in universities and learnt at schools um, these said same people who would rather certain versions of history go down than other versions of history so you do get these people they do exist and now they've got a tool to sit at home and remotely administer what you and I are apparently allowed to learn. So this is what Wikipedia is. Now, for rather mundane or insensitive subjects, you would imagine that um, information should be quite freely available and uh, wouldn't be heavily edited because what would be the point but you'd be wrong <laughs> because extremely insensitive subjects become very emotive uh, things to the people who want to uh, act as admins on wiki and control this information so I actually got into a problem with uh, one of my um, interest areas called Rudlow Manor and I went to have a look if it had a wiki page and it did have a wiki page. When I went there, it mentioned a number of things, but it omitted a few key facts. And I thought, well, doing my good bit as a wiki uh, wiki helper, I shall put these things to right. So I actually added some extra pieces of information. Nothing, uh, nothing large. Just saying, you know, Rudlow Manor is a base. Um, uh, it has connections with underground tunnels. Da 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 da. Um, you know, but uh, I added the piece that said underground tunnels connect to other still used military tunnels, such as at the Caution Computer Centre and um, and at the CDCN. And uh, I also, for reference, because it was talking about the underground tunnels, which are about 25 miles of underground tunnels, it talked about them and said uh, there were a few books available to read on the subject, which is fine. You know, in the reading references at the bottom you know, read these books. But there are only three books there. Now, I knew that there was a very good author called Nick McCamley, who's appeared on television many times. Um, he's well known to Subterranea Britannica, which is an organization which deals with um, underground bunkers. And he's very well respected. He's, he's got a couple of books out on this subject, specifically of the underground tunnels in that area. And uh, they've got photographs, very well researched, you know, well-respected books. These weren't listed, so I put them in. I said, reading references, Nick McCamley, Secret Underground Cities. Just a nice little simple thing like that. Then it was removed straight away, immediately. That was taken off. So I thought, well, that's a bit strange, so maybe it's a mistake of wiki. So I tapped the information in again, and it was taken off again. And I put it on again, and it stayed on there for a day, and then it went off again. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute, you know, this is the, the, what is the problem? I'm trying to tell people there's a book they can read on this subject by an author who is acknowledged as an expert in the field. But the information was pulled off. And I complained about it to 
the uh, wiki people and I was told that um, the administrator had said that the information was not suitable and that should, it should be removed and had removed it and because I put it on three times and it had been removed three times now the administrator had blocked me from making any Wikipedia amendments, changes or helpful additions. I was now banned from Wikipedia and my crime was to inform people there is a book which you can buy on Amazon and in various other places and you can probably get in your local library which will talk about these subjects. That was my crime. So, it is my belief, it is a belief, an opinion, um, I wouldn't say that this is fact, but it is my opinion that there are people who either take it upon themselves to do this task of censoring Wikipedia or are actually paid to censor Wikipedia. Now, in the case of the information I put on there, there could be two reasons, well, maybe three. The person doesn't like the information. They have a personal grudge against the information. Or they are being paid to spin the story and the information that is on Wikipedia. Or three, they have an interest in seeing that the other books get sold and not the one which I put up there. Possibilities. There may be more possibilities involved here, but um, to actually remove information which is helpful from an encyclopedia, um, and this does go on a lot, I would say is a conspiracy. It is a conspiracy either by one person or a number of pe people to actually alter history and actually ruin um, what is meant to be a very useful information source, Wikipedia, and render it to being nothing more than a censorship tool, um, which will obviously, you know, not be very good in the future for accurate information. As we go through time, as Wikipedia becomes more controlled by the admins, which is now being talked about, that because so many changes get made and uh, you know people are attacking the fact that the changes are made all the time that Wikipedia is going to have to be more controlled by the admins so really this is basically an editorial team and the whole idea of Wikipedia which was to be a free information exchange is now gone so that's my feelings on Wikipedia pile of crap you know is it really worth it? If you want to get information up on the internet which is not going to be censored and is going to portray true and accurate facts, um, the, the truth is you're going to have to build a website because Wiki is not going to allow you to say things that you know just go against the tiniest of little uh, you know personal feelings that people have. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I cannot see any reason why. The information I put up there was removed for any sensible reason other than censorship, possibly by the government, also possibly by a very sad individual with personal agenda reasons. So, thanks for watching.